So, why did you click on this video? Oh, you type slow? Well, I type slow. As a matter of fact, this script took me an hour to write, but I got a 100 line solution. Well, 250 lines to be a bit more closer, but whatever. If you haven't read the title of this video and you clicked it, just because I had 93, no wait, 90 subscribers with questionable videos, basically I'm gonna make my own type racer typer. So, how am I going to do that? I mean, I could spam my friend and get him to type it for me, but after a while, I'd probably get blocked for being too annoying. Ouch. The second solution was to copy the text and paste it. I, I mean, it's text after all. A solution to that is inspect the page like every sixth grader would do. I mean, I could put it in a txt file, add the first word, and then paste it, right? So I finally ended off with coding a program to do it for me. But what language? Python? I suck at it and I don't know how to make windows with it. C? Uh, maybe not. C++? Hmm. C Sharp? Duplicate of Java. J just made a bit more cleaner with without the robot thing. What about Colton? JavaScript? C++? C9? C closing brackets? C percent? C number sign? C plus? C minus? Swift? I chose Java because cause Java is easy to learn and I totally don't use it for like every single thing I think of. So I wanted something user friendly and not so big and huge and all that. So I thought of an OCR, also known as Octopus Raves Roaches. Wait, no, no, I, I meant optical character recognition. I'm going to use that to get what is supposed to get printed out by letting the user like the- let me re-say that. I'm going to use that to get what is supposed to get printed out by letting the users user select the area where the text is that made a hundred percent sense all right next sentence so i got tesseract because it's free and its api is easy to use added it to my project and i started coding the ui i settled with an undecorated frame meaning no border and that top bar thing with the minimize full screen and exit whatever meaning no top bar that, that's it's that simple so a menu bar uh that you see in like almost every app uh, with a menu item that is disabled that says this is just another random project because it is a custom button to close the whole thing uh, i made it exactly the same as the one you see on normal windows on windows a select text area button to select the text a text area to put what the ocr read it also lets you edit the output and type button that starts simulating keyboard presses after two seconds so uh don't think it's gonna type for you while you do other stuff so all was going well, I added the tesseract portion, then the type portion, then select text part to select the text, obviously. Um, I first thought I'd let the user just press, drag, release their mouse to make a invis box around the text, but realized they can click and highlight unwanted stuff, text and stuff, so I added a frame with a transparency of like 0 0.000001, but the users wouldn't know where their selection is. So, I did some advanced calculations with screen pixel and window zoom piece of it because it ruins my whole code as you can see in a few seconds. So now I recreated the windows uh, win shift s command using a frame with little to no transparency and uh, four panels that are just containers with less transparency to it to cover up the sides. Oh jeez, I feel smart until I started to lag my $1500 PC. I did some simple optimizations, aka calculating a variable once and shoving it into whatever needs it so Java doesn't need to do it like six times. Then I got the code to grab the start and stop point, well, the start and end point and feed it into the screenshotter. The screenshotter takes an image of the whole screen, which took ages to do because on my 4K screen, the icons are so small, I need a damn microscope to see them. So I did the zoom thing and set that to 225% and it and it messes up my buffered image because more than three-fourths of that bullshit is And when I try to do sub-image, aka cropping it, I mostly get a black image. So I did some advanced Google searches and found my answer. It looks too advanced to explain. After editing my code, I realized that was useless because I could have used toolkit blah 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 dot get screen dot get width and height and all that, which got every used pixel and not everything. Hem hem. Uh, then I did the sub-image thing and I fed it to Big Boy Tesseract, which fails to do its job like 51% of its time. If you zoom in on the Type Racer site, Tesseract will perform slightly better. I tried using better Tesseract, tes tes tesseract aka the newer version, but it kept 
fitting useless info into the console and was too high tech for me. So I'm using the less accurate old Tesseract from like 2018. Um, I could switch it when I want because they have the same implementations, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the thing is, Tesseract needs a test data folder because uh, everyone needs a data folder. Okay, so I shoved it into the SRC, meaning the folder that contains everything. Uh, also, I think it also means source code, but I, I don't know. Uh, fun, fun, right? Yeah, no. Once I exported it as a runnable jar file, it does not work. So now I need to use Big Boy Inno setup sys, I think, to packages and install it like a real program. I did some final touches to my program since I thought you guys, well, probably 10 viewers, would want to use it. So I added an info button and a better title bar. Oh, by the way, did I mention trying to convert all the code to C-Sharp using Visual Studio? That thing took half of my lifetime to install. It didn't work because C-Sharp doesn't have the robot thing and I didn't want to look up for how to make a C-Sharp form along with learning how to use two more APIs even though I spent a week coding it in Java. Anyways, I got JetBrains Writer and I got a hot license that will expire in a year using my school email. And it was easier to work with, but, but I kept messing up because I did not use c-sharp properly and i'm not a c-sharp genius like you guys so i said frick it i'm just gonna go get inno setup and deploy the jre aka java runtime environment with the app so it can run in the runtime thing it's huge a few hundo megabytes so i had to figure out how to use jlinks aka a thing that creates a custom jre for your program and your program only as of writing the script, I still haven't gotten it to work and this thing's like seven minutes long i don't even know how i wrote this much it doesn't matter after I get that done, I might just make my jar file into an exe using launch4j, I think it's called. Pointing it towards the runtime folder and bundle all of those into an installer with some terms of service txt I'm gonna write in an instructions manual that is already included in the program. And voila, I finished. Tested it out a few times and got a few hundred word per minute until... Oh, damn it. Bruh.